always need to squeeze yeah. in where they are. Mm-hmm. Here we uh, hello, welcome back. We have Chris, Ruth Ann, Beth, and with our powers combined, we are Geek Chic. Welcome to our Whiskey Wednesdays Nerd Rage. We are drinking a ginger whiskey, literally on the rocks. We have the fancy whiskey stone, so Ooh. cheers, everybody. We're so cheers. excited for that. Uh, quite mm. excited. We fancy. We fancy. She was like, do you want to use the whiskey stones? And we was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> whiskey stones, ta-da. All right, so let's get right into this. I'm going to start sharing uh, this everywhere. How so, does everyone feel about the ginger, though? Oh, that's nice. It's not too gingery. It's, kind of it's not, because I'm not a yeah. ginger person. But it's, yeah. This, right. like, I feel it on my throat. I feel like it burns. Feel it all the way I like it. Down um, to the pit of my belly. Okay. Oh. You can't, I have to stop okay. touching the table because right. it's moving. Okay. Um, but, uh, here, I'm going to do mute that first and then hit this. So, um, we're going to get right into it because I'm sorry if this is spoilers, <clears throat> but I feel like if you are not caught up on Flash, we're actually doing you a favor. This last Flash episode last week on Tuesday. Yeah, not yesterday. Not yesterday. It's the one before. Mm-hmm. So not just so. To be fair, we haven't watched that one yet. Mm-hmm. But last week's was just terrible. It was there. There's we have a lot of rage. Okay, so why don't you start? And I'm gonna share this some old places. Okay, so apparently it was a largely uh, supposed to be girl power episode, but um, I feel like so what it, what was happening is because. A certain wedding is happen- going to happen. There was a bachelorette party she and a wait. bachelorette She's party. like, go ahead. Um, she's like, nope, I can't. <laughs> so, the, so the guys and the girls are separate. Go on. Yes, one bachelor party, one bachelorette party. Um, however, Killer Frost was just like, no, I don't really feel like going, which was super shitty. I'm sorry, because if your friend is getting married and it's her bachelorette party, you, you freaking go. You go. You suck it up. You suck it up and you go. And she was like, I don't feel like it. And they guilted her into it. And she was like, okay. So they go. And. <clears throat> yeah, they go. And so they're going to this, like, nice little dinner. And, of course, the boys end up in a strip club where it's just, it's just, it's, everything is why just Why not so, do anything that isn't cliche? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. just, it's so many flavors of cliche. I can't, I can't handle it. And then, like, trouble happens to the girls. And, oh. The flash. Trouble the happens. Flash, and then they literally keep saying hashtag feminism. Like that is one of the lines it's to bad. say that they are like it's the women that are taking power and like all this. Ugh, I don't know if any of you else watch this. It's um, it's pretty bad. And not only that, but they get into trouble. Okay, the girls get into trouble and they try to handle it on their own and they suck at it. They, they absolutely it, suck at it. Yeah, they didn't even like write it properly. That like. She like so Killer Frost has to show up and save the day because they're apparently incapable of doing it without the Flash's help. And there's this wonderful actress that shows up to play the bad guy, and she is atrocious. Like we love her and oh, everything else. You know who that is? No, I know. I didn't want to say who it is. Oh, just to, okay. like we're not. Doing... I know who. I haven't even watched this episode, yeah. and I know who it is. Yeah. All right. So should we just say who it is? Yeah, okay. So Katie Sackoff shows yeah. up, and mm-hmm. it's just she has the worst accent. That she makes does. no. It makes no sense. Why? Why? Why are you Why? talking like that? What is we happening? We all know what she sounds like, by the way. Yeah. Um, so it kind of like pulls you out a little bit. And it's like what? And Why? it's 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 not great. But um, anyway, Killer Frost shows up and um, immediately disses the clothing that she's wearing mm-hmm. because it's not the same as Caitlyn. Um, and Caitlyn likes pink flower oh, stuff. Yeah. Apparently, this Killer is another Frost moment that made me want to explode. Just hates what she's wearing, and so she decides she's just gonna pack up. Basically, fuck you all, I'm going. And she goes to pack up her bags. Well, first she goes to change. <clears throat> yeah, she goes to change. So yeah. she's like packing up her bags and she's mm-hmm. like, ugh. And she takes off her shirt, the pink thing that she can't stand so much. And immediately Irish is like, oh my God. Oh, I like, hey. don't you? It's like, you know a man wrote that because. Which is not a thing any women do. No, no. Women don't do it. No, I'm what was sorry. it you even said about. She had just I was like, I just changed twice in your living room and yeah, no one cared. And, <laughs> and, but also, we got over that back in sixth grade. Yeah, we like we got. Yeah, when we class. got. When you had to change in gym uh, class, we all got just, over that one. And I, I, I like, said that out loud as I was watching the episode. I was like, this is not realistic. Some dude must have written this because this is not what women do. They don't. Do, they do not react this way it is just not a thing so anyway um after that i was just like kind of checked out i'll be honest it was because it was so bad and i mean on top of that everything that was going on with the um the guys was terrible too because of course they end up at a strip club mm-hmm. and the person that started the hashtag 
uh, feminism thing, which is the daughter ends up being one of the strippers, so she's stripping for feminism. Mm -hmm. And then, <laughs> which in and of itself is fine, but yes. then she admits at the end that it wasn't. So I was like, what? What? She was like, oh, I'm doing this for like an undercover story because blah, 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 and I can be what I want. And then at the end, she's like, I wasn't really doing it for that. And yeah, like, on top oh, of that, Cisco, like, ugh, Cisco made this uh, type of like high concentrated <laughs> liquor so that Barry could get drunk. And so he was just... And he was just this awful fake drunk the entire time, crying about wings. I, it was it was really bad. Hello, Martin. Like Hello. The band wings? <laughs> no, like like wing... Like, um... Oh, uh, buffalo, wings. buffalo wings. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> yeah, the... Yeah, Grant's I mean, many a man... Drunk acting Gary Wright was, was embarrassing. embarrassing. Many was a man ridiculous. has cried over the band wings, but... Yeah. yeah that's that's probably not, so not a TV it's really show. unfortunate because I really love The Flash. I don't know what's going on. Where's my husband when we need him for a wings joke? Yeah, right. <laughs> so that was just. Uh, it was really painful. And it was just. Atrocious. When. If they just. Honestly, I would have been less angry if they kept. Like, stopped doing like hashtag feminism and like us ladies can handle it. We're strong mm -hmm. women. Like, it's just. And like, no, we couldn't. They couldn't handle it without Frost. Not only that, but then and, like, Frost. Bringing attention she loses. Papers. She loses against Katie Sackhoff, by the way. Like, and it was hard. like, oh, no reason. Now I'm going to just go. And it was like totally a thing about like her constantly quitting and wanting to run away. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's super great. That's a great message. Like, no banding together. Like, at the end, obviously, you know, she's going to redeem herself. And you already know it's going to happen. I mean, come but on. But it's just... But it's like, come on. This and also, process they've is tedious. brought her to be, like, a super, super powerful meta. And then she just gets... I feel like Katie Sackhoff beat her way too easily the first time. Well, Katie Sackhoff gets defeated by a magnet. Yeah, that too. Like, what? What? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, anyway. Anyway, so that's that's our rage. I don't know if you guys have any rage issues about that episode of The Flash, and I'm sorry if you haven't seen it, but I'm also not sorry because now you won't see it. <laughs> so unless you hate watching, it. yeah, exactly. Um, which is so fine. yeah, which is also fine. We we approve of hate watching here at Nerd really? Rage Wednesdays because mm -hmm. then we can <laughs> drink whiskey and talk about it. It's great. <laughs> um, yeah, Gary. Yeah, we brought up the fact. What was Katie Sackhoff's accent? Like, yes. why? There's. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if that was an acting choice from her and just nobody, because she's such a huge star, would say anything. She's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened and why, it but it's just was, it poor was choices. bad. Poor choices. Poor, poor choices. Mm -hmm. Name of your sex date. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Sorry. Love Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Nine -Nine. That's rude. Um, <laughs> Anyways. Here you go. <clears throat> Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay. Yes. Um, all right. So See now, us. so the meat of what we want to rage about, and this was brought up because I saw the announcement. I don't know if everybody else did on when uh, Monday that Amazon is officially doing a Lord of the Rings TV show, like a series mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. multiple seasons. This enrages me on quite a few levels. Um. Oh, interesting. Deb didn't take. You know what? Should we go back to what? Because I'm curious of what Deb, what you thought of the episode. If you actually liked the fact that it was like the hashtag feminism thing, sorry to go right back into the flash. But I'm like now I'm kind of curious what you what you thought. Um, while we wait for her, we'll move on with the Lord of the Rings. So a huge Lord of the Rings fans, both my ladies here, big big mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings fans, mm -hmm. and I don't. I, <laughs> she's upset. Okay, because we've been over this. Because we literally like forty five minutes ago we went over this. Because she's so angry. angry because they're like it's a prequel. The Hobbit no, is a prequel. It's a prequel. <laughs> she, uh, so she's like, like freaking out. Just just say it's a Samarillion. Like that would be kind of interesting. Is if you're taking the Samarillion, I would be fine with that. But they already tried to bastardize that by trying to fit it in with the um with the Hobbit and that whole garbage movie three mm -hmm. movies. Mm -hmm. Like I just uh. Yeah, well... Yeah, I, it's a multi-season co commitment from Amazon, correct. I just... I don't... I don't want it. So, so on that level, I'm, I'm angry about that. Mm -hmm. But now, like, it's... Again, we have to deal with, like, buying TV shows on... Um... <laughs> Sorry. Just reading the comments. Um, so... <clears throat> This goes back to the whole CBS Access thing with uh, Star Trek Discovery. Mm -hmm. Now we have to have all this kind, of, like all this stuff. I mean, Henry, I do love Lord of the Rings, but like, what what could I mean? Don't you think you about? What, like, don't you think Dan's already... getting angry before she even sees it or knows but, no, really but... what it's about? I mean, you already know the even... history of Middle Earth. <laughs> Uh, so she doesn't really want more Lord of the Rings. That's what she's getting at. We, ha we she, have all Lord of the Rings. Like, it's, see, it's right she there. She does not want more. 
She doesn't want more. And and that that's what it comes down to, is that it couldn't possibly be good yes. because everything is already out there. It's already there. Mm-hmm. And anything they do is just going to dis... Agree or disagree? <laughs> Some people want Drink my whiskey. Lord of the Rings. Some people I, you, don't. I be, oh, now he's here. I was oh, making Wings been. jokes earlier and you were I nowhere know. to be seen. Aragon spinoff. See? He's written the fanfic. You have the fanfic, Thank right? You, All right, Henry. Just Thank send you, that. Henry. So... But I mean, at this point, that's what, that's why all, that's basically what all these shows are now. Like anything that's like a side quilt, that's technically just a a fan fiction. Like it's a fan fiction by somebody who has a lot of money and is like, has producers and stuff Mm -hmm. and has like the okay from whoever has the IP, but it's fan films at that point. And I don't know. I don't know. That's. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything wrong with that because honestly, it's giving fans what they want to see. Well, not this fan. (laughs) Can't please them all. Ah, can't please them all. Brandon's leaving me updates on our laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, that's um, so funny. So, <clears throat> but again, like, so this goes into a larger issue of streaming services. Now, we feel that there's just too many. Because it was great back in the day when it was basically a choice between keeping cable or then switching over to just having Hulu and Netflix. Mm-hmm. And everything was either on Hulu or it was on Netflix. And most people had Amazon Prime already, let's be honest. Yeah. So, like, that whole thing, like, was kind of a non-issue. Yeah, that didn't bother me at all. Yeah, because, like, you're already getting everything, and you're like, oh, it's just something additional that they're adding on to my Amazon Prime, which is awesome. But it sucks, because now I always forget about Amazon Prime whenever I'm looking for something. I, like, look on Hulu and Netflix, and I'm like, well, it's not there! And I'm like, oh, wait, I can Oh, wait, I have that. Yeah. For sure. Um, but now the issue is, is that everybody, like, all those companies were like, well, they have the right idea. Let's start our own streaming service. Mm -hmm. But now we're stuck with like a million different streaming services that we have to pay for. So it's almost better just to go back to the DVR and um, in the cable. In the cable. Really? I don't See, know. Okay. Because it's just too many. I know. The thing that. is that because things are now exclusive to the streaming services. So like Exactly, the original. Yeah, so what are you mm-hmm. and now you're going back to cable uh, and stuff, but then you don't have and you're, we're talking stranger things here. Yeah, I mean I know. And now know. Disney is starting their own. Yeah, Disney's right. starting so their own. Like, Disney has their own. Supposedly less than Netflix. It's supposed to yeah. cost less than Netflix. Well, but then I get frustrated with also on top of that, we have all these apps that don't do everything for all the platforms, right? So I have a PS4, so I can't get the CW app, I can't get the um, mm-hmm. Comedy Central app, and they took everything off of Hulu, so I'm like... The thing, removing it from uh. Hulu is the biggest issue, because back when I was going to cut cable, I was like, okay, I have Hulu, Amazon Prime, and I have Netflix... And you can purchase seasons off of Amazon Prime for like 25 bucks, which turns out... So as I have know, to watch Doctor Who? Right. So you can do that. And I was like, all right, this is actually still less than cable. But now with, with these networks removing everything from Hulu yeah. and doing their own, it's actually not cost effective anymore. Mm-mm, and yeah. you might as well go back and it's to so cable. so frustrating. Which is it's like, like yeah, very you're, frustrating. Marco, you're saying there's going to be a bubble. And I think that's, that's kind of what mm-hmm. we're getting. I mean... Does anybody know how Sling works? I think so yes. many places are like, oh, Sling is like, I've heard Sling a lot of is the good way to do it. Yeah. About sling, yeah. Actually, yeah. Like, Leslie had Sling. And she All right. If anybody else has Sling, let us know. And also, yeah. Gary even said, because there's the <laughs> other online networks, Alpha. Like From Alpha Nerdist. and Nerdist. Yeah. Uh, which they just announced they've died a death. That's. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, fine. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. There yeah. was CISO briefly, but it was a garbage app, and then it's gone. Also, oh, yeah. you have to have really good shows in order to launch this. Yeah, yeah like, like the CB- really honestly, do. the CBS app so isn't really Ver- doing it for me. Because Ver- like bought a lot of the CISO. We shows. added up like what Ruthann was paying, which is like seven dollars a month yeah. for CBS. I mean, app. that's without uh, that's with commercials. With so commercials, I got I got it without version. because I wanted to be able to like live stream it with you guys. So right. it ends up being like nine nine or ten bucks a month. Right, and so to get all the episodes, so all fifteen episodes, all 15. and they have a month. Uh, off or no, like a month and a half off. So mm-hmm. it's like, what do we? It's it six like 30, months. It's like thirty five dollars total for her to with, get with that commercials, get that commercials, season, yeah. get the Star Trek season. Which if you go to Amazon Prime, which everything goes to, you can get it for twenty five bucks. So it's ten dollars less to buy a season through Amazon Prime. Yeah. So, ugh. and that's what's frustrating. It's like you know we're getting ripped because these places are like, well, you can't see this anywhere else, and we know you're a fan. Like, that yeah. really sucks. And I mean, if I wasn't, <clears throat> if I, so if I wasn't me that's so obsessed with Star Trek that I want to be able to share it with you guys, like, honestly, if we didn't have, if I wasn't a part of Geek Chic, I might not even get the, the all access. Mm-hmm. Or, you know what's probably smarter to do, but I have to watch it when everybody else watches, is wait until it's completely on and then just buy a month worth, <laughs> binge watch it that month, Listen. bless you, and then just quit it again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, honestly, that's what I might suggest to people because this, that's actually even good this solution. first half of the season or first two thirds of this season, it wasn't good until like the last. But you have three to episodes. wonder if eventually yeah. they're going to get more shows that you're going to want to watch, mm-hmm. and you know. No, I mean, I agree, Brandon. CISO did have really good stuff, but it was a garbage app. Yes. And, and you actually have said the words to me, this is a garbage app, so <laughs> let's not... Yeah. Let's, let's not. <laughs> I, oh, I full screen bot does Yeah, screen. I, never, I don't know what full screen is. It's an, it's um, it's Nerdist, is the, right? Nerdist, and then I it's thought another. Nerdist was Alpha. Oh, that's right. I don't know what full screen is. No, Geek and Sundry is Alpha? Oh, that's what it was. Yes, oh, Geek and Sundry is Geek Alpha, and, yes. so full screen is Nerdist. Okay. Well, isn't you can, I don't but know. I mean, Dawson's but, Creek, you can just get the set. I mean... Who, wait, a physical thing? Who uh, does that anymore? I gave mine away to a Dawson's Creek lover. Are you serious? Oh, you yeah. had a, a... Hey, I used girl. to watch Dawson's Creek Live, man. Wednesday nights. Girl. <laughs> That's amazing. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, oh, full screen is a major YouTube oh, network. Oh, okay. See? I thought that was YouTube Red. They also have that. Oh my god, too oh, many damn. guys, it's too many. Damn. This is really yeah. frustrating. Mm-hmm. I agree. So, what I mean, and also, I don't, I get like the basic, basic cable right now, so I don't get things like AMC. Yeah. And so, I can't, I don't get um, the other channel that like that Scientology thing is on, so I can't see that one either. Um, you the know, Scientology? The, the thing? Romini documentary. Oh, I thought you like wanted to watch a Scientology oh, show. You're like, I want to keep up no. on my Scientology news. No. Um, no, no, no. Yeah, so. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, no. so there's just. Um, I, there's some things I still can't watch. Mm. Like, Amazon Prime will have it eventually, and it's almost like a Netflix thing where if like, you wait a year, they'll mm. release it and you can finally get it. But. Um, that's actually part of the reason why I just stopped walking, watching The Walking Dead is because number one, I was getting sick of it, and number two, mm-hmm. <laughs> I was As like, we well, are. I can definitely do without AMC because it's literally the only show that I watch on AMC. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Yeah. So my system is I have the PS4 and I do all the apps, and then I have a digital right. antenna to get everything else. Yeah, Joshua, I totally agree. Like I've yeah, the subscription it's, it's services bad. are, it's, are it's really frustrating. Like I, I still have Hulu and I still have Netflix, but Same like one here. of the main reasons I had Hulu was for some of the Comedy Central shows, like At Midnight and The Daily Show, and well, now I can't now watch them. Now they don't have Comedy Central anymore. Well. And Comedy Central <laughs> has their own app, but it's not available for PS4 because what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's another issue because so we get we have the Fire Stick, and so the Fire Stick is we have Fire Stick in one room, PS4 in the other, so that we can do both, but. The Fire Stick Should obviously is like Amazon. Well, yeah, it costs like thirty bucks. To I know buy. it wasn't with you. like a thing. Um, but anyway, that actually works well because the. F- but you know what? We also have a DVD player that has all of those apps on it. Yeah. And the DVD player cost I think seventy five dollars. So it wasn't outrageous like that. So yeah. I feel like. There's more options out there now for that sort of thing rather than just so, the PS4. And also, Marco just mentioned that uh, we don't have to worry about YouTube Rev because every show they have is a sounds Ooh. like a dumpster fire except for the Karate Kid. See, we have, and um, we raved about the Karate Kid thing did. a couple episodes back. So. Yeah, we have an Apple TV, and it has apps for most things. Yeah, and it has apps for most channels, but also I just use a login from my friend's parents' cable in New York. And they don't. So that's the thing. Nobody too. notices. Because mm-hmm. it's like they're almost like it's almost encouraging us to be stealing other people's passcodes for stuff. Oh, don't they limit though? Don't can't you only do like two households now? Like, like they, they find not they, according to Optimum. Yeah, dep- really? depending on the thing. Yeah, so I know like, Netflix. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, Netflix. Well, you have like, to that's pay. different. I'm talking about I just a lot of like, I, I, like I'm literally logging in mm-hmm. like to their cable subscription. Because normally when you have a cable subscription, if you also have like a login, amazing, Beth. It, well, it's the same way. <laughs> it's the same way that like people used to. Well, they still do. It's the same way of like sharing an HBO Go password. Mm-hmm. Same concept, but right, I share their password and to their actual honestly, cable subscription. No, we would. So. We would totally do that too. Because when we talked about like, oh, like we were gonna cut all these, but before the HBO mm-hmm. had their own app, yeah. I was like, well, well, yeah, but like we watch a ton of HBO shows, and literally it was just like, well, let's just go off my parents' cable. Like, yeah. So that's what, what yeah that's what I do. So that's yeah. what I do for like all channels. Everything. So mm-hmm. I feel like it's like individual channels that. I yes. want to watch. Exactly. I just, I so uh, Gary, yeah, we get it. UK is just better because everything just goes Netflix. So like even um, yeah, the, that's because uh, you have like four channels. Calm down. <laughs> well, no, but it's <laughs> so, so even like 
Yeah, and they're all the BBC. <laughs> wait, wait, so even even like the CBS All Access just goes to Netflix for them. Yeah. So he just watches it on Netflix. Yeah, it's like a half hour later or something like that. Okay. But then oh. uh, Brandon had a really good question. If we think that Karate Kid show has more to offer than a Lord of the Rings show. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes. Fact. I mean, and I love Lord yes. of the Rings, and I'm not even opposed to having a new series. I'm just more excited about it. Yeah, because I think... Well, and Karate Kid is a sequel, and they're, like, making an actual... Yes. Time has passed. It's, yeah. It's they're, like, making an actual story instead of it's trying a to rehash. continuation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not so it, and it's also it's not a so. whole world. I don't know. Like there's the world hasn't been told already. I'll I'll find out more about and it. And yes, I do know about Verve. So that's why I said earlier. Oh, Verve, yeah. I mentioned earlier that Verve bought a lot of the CISO shows when CISO. Okay. It also has Crunchyroll and a bunch of other stuff too. Mm. Yeah, Verve okay. is is pretty great. But then it's like, so. But again, it's just more. It's it does help to like kind of bottle up like a lot of them. Mm-hmm. So so it's interesting how these these apps come out and then they have then it creates more apps to control the apps. <laughs> well, you apps know, everywhere. Some you'll of, get an app. Someone was sitting at home, and they're like, "I have a million of these freaking apps. Like, I uh, just need something, like, to get them all together." So and then, it's just so oh yeah, annoying. some some tech dude, you know, just you know. Anyway, yeah. So that's we mm-hmm. we have a lot of feelings about this, but we have one more. Um, oh wait, we have. You're gonna. You're gonna. I mean, have, I think it's certainly more. Really gonna nerd rage it's more fleshed out. <laughs> no, I just. It's definitely a more fleshed out world, but we're just talking about the way that they've currently announced it. Just doesn't sound like yeah. it's doing anything because, new or productive. Yeah, it would be interesting if it was like a side story of somebody else that's just a part of the world. Yeah, but they're trying to say it's like a prequel to, and the biggest adventure yet. Right. It's like no, the big. We had the big. Like that's that's what the Hobbit is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh. So, yes. so we're just we we're taking <laughs> opposition know, to the way happened. we're taking opposition <laughs> like, to the way it's currently yeah. being presented. <laughs> so, so, so. We're taking opposition to the way it's currently <clears throat> been presented. If it turns out they are going to do yes. something, then that's mm-hmm. different. Then that's cool. Then like, awesome. But, but so far, yeah, so far we're not enthused. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, I don't know exactly what they're doing. Fair to be fair. So um, other nerd rage thing. If you guys haven't seen, um, obviously nobody's seen. I mean, a few people have gone to the red carpet of Justice. Justice League, but mm-hmm. oh, oh, yeah, this one's time. mine. I'm ready. I'm yeah, waiting. Ready. All right. <laughs> oh, she's God. ready to go. Oh, she's so ready. Look at her go. <laughs> let me. Well, let me get a photo and post it. Okay, so she's gonna look up the um, photo, but obviously this is not a spoiler to Justice League. We haven't not, seen the movie. None of us have seen Justice we haven't League. Haven't seen the movie. Yeah. So. so basically, it's just that <clears throat> there were and they were posting uh, photos from Justice League. So mm-hmm. obviously, and we've seen the Amazons in um, Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they were designed and the movie was shot well before they started production on Justice League. And Mm -hmm. they were designed in a way that had like nods to Greek mythology and um, design and they had fucking great actual armor on. And and then in Justice League, which... um, the Amazons appear in again, and oh hey, they're designed by a dude this time. They're now suddenly just wearing fucking leather bikinis, and bikinis. it's infuriating. And I just posted a Twitter link to where you can see two photos side by side. Yeah, of just and the I'm not happy about mm-hmm. it. Um, it looks ridiculous. It looks ridiculous, and it's insulting, and like it, uh, uh, like it's so hard to get armor like these are actual warrior women like yeah, like why is- are <clears throat> like there's just so many reasons that this is dumb and also like why would like there was already an existing design just use the and instead a, a, a oh, which was God. designed by a woman I'm, like looking and at it instead, on our screen and, uh, it's really me and instead a guy designed new ones that are just leather bikinis like that's it and they're not yeah, they're not practical they're, at they're, all. the amazons are immortal but they're not invulnerable like yeah <laughs> And I think it's more than just, like, this, a superhero type thing. Because we look at it and we think, okay, these characters aren't real. You know, it's fine. They all wear skin type, skin yeah, costumes. it's not practical. Men combat. and women alike. But the thing is, it's like it goes to, like, the, the past design that was already there. That was yeah. super effective. And did not pull you out of, like, the Like, fight. they didn't redesign like, Wonder Woman's costume for the movie. Right. Why would you redesign everybody else? Right. Like, you didn't exactly. redesign anybody else's it's like, costumes it's like for the movie. almost messing with something that didn't need to be messed with just for the sake of messing with skin. it and make, giving them more skin, which yeah. doesn't make sense in the context that they're in, which is they're warriors. Yeah. It's like, Are there no seasons there? Like, also? Like, doesn't it get, like... Well, no, like, even the original... I mean, <laughs> the, the original paradise. costumes... I don't know what you're about. Well, even the original 
traditional costumes, like, yes, they're not wearing, like, full battle armor, but they're wearing clothing that is... Somebody pointed out, like, oh, when they're not in battle, mm -hmm. they are wearing a lot of things like this, but it makes sense for the Mediterranean climate they're in and, like, their culture and whatever. Nobody's saying that, like, they have to be covered up all the time. Yeah. There's lots of shots right. of them wearing, like... Yeah, yeah, less, yeah, less, like less in the movie, but not into battle. It's just ridiculous. The just bikinis get me, get me so angry. All right, so just to kind of let's wash that off. Wash let's, it off. Let's we're wash gonna... it off because we're gonna help you out. We've been drinking whiskey, so we're getting a little more ragey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now it's time to nerd rave. It's kind to rave about something. So uh, without any spoilers to Thor, but hope I'm sure most of you have seen it all. Um, <clears throat> we know that the amazing, the incredible Jeff Goldblum is in it. He's incredible in it. And he's incredible in everything. He's We're like, really just yeah. raving about Jeff, Jeff Goldblum. Goldblum. Like it's Jeff just Goldblum. literally a rave about Jeff Goldblum. So a certain <laughs> someone who's uh, been to his jazz oh, yeah. show he that he does. Show here down at the Rockwell. At it's the Rockwell, which is in... Um, oh. It's in Los Feliz. Los oh. Feliz, yeah. Okay, wait. Who knows, Near my who knows, knows about the food truck no, I'm good. I'm good. that Jeff Goldblum oh, yeah. did in When Australia. he was in Australia... Oh, what was it called? Oh, it was amazing. He just went around like handing out free sandwiches to people... He just like got a food truck. Yes, um, it, to promote his movie, obviously, but it was still yeah way cool. And I would go know it if it was here. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what? what it was called, but it was called something super cute and clever, and it just made me. So, what was out. everybody's first time seeing Jeff Goldblum in a movie? Oh, um, probably. Uh, oh God, I have to go back. Yeah, and everybody else, whatever. Uh, so just just mention what yours is. Also, this okay, if so you I'm haven't seen it yet is. is wonderful. Jeff Goldblum reviews Jeff Goldblum tattoos. Yes, yeah. If you haven't seen that, oh, it's yes. incredible. So what? So just everybody. Chef, Chef Goldblum. Oh yeah, that's yes. Yeah, Chef yes. Goldblum. That's, yeah, what, that's it what it was. Chef Goldblum. Yes. Um, yes. 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 Okay. Wait. Mm, what was so he? Good. What was he? Okay, in Gina I, Davis. What was? The, uh, that's the first thing that I was gonna say. Yeah. And that, I think it's yeah. Because that was Gina Davis. They're, yeah. They're in the fly, it's, but Earth then, Girls are easy. That's it. Earth Girls are easy. <laughs> that was the first time yes. I saw him, and he was like the like the stud one, like the stud <laughs> alien. That when he shaved, he was like the stud McMuffin, and that had Jim Carrey, who was like the the dumb like surfer right. dude alien. Who, when he shaved, is like that, that flavor of stuff. There's so Just, many. Yes, Earth Girls are easy. Marco had the same one. Yep. Okay, what was um, your first Jurassic one? Jurassic Park. Well, okay, remember that I didn't Jurassic Park. see a lot of things. Earth Girls are easy. Uh, I didn't see, I've never seen Jurassic Park. Uh, wait. <laughs> oh, did you guys... Wait, I everybody. Mean, wait. No, we talk about this. We talk never about seen this. Die Hard either. We so talk about this a lot on my podcast, guys. Don't worry about it. We talk about this a lot on my podcast. Don't worry about it. Anyway, <laughs> I, I think function. the first thing I saw with Goldblum in was The Big Chill because I'm an oh old woman. <laughs> and I love that movie. <laughs> Brandon Beck. Oh my God. If you're out there, you're not why doing your job, Brandon. Has she not seen <laughs> Die Hard? Oh my God. Or Jurassic Park? Like what? I feel like I, I don't even know how to talk to you anymore. I don't know who you are. <laughs> I've seen parts of it. I can't. I don't. I know. <laughs> I know group. what it's about. Yeah, but it's out of the group. Just denied. Oh, what a Mark Zuckerberg Oh, that's Ooh, going good. Back. Yeah. Well Damn. done. Very well done. All right. Does everybody like? Oh, there's no favorite role for him because he's just so brilliant in well, everything he does. Independence Day. Oh, he's Independence Day. Independence Day. Day. So oh my god. What the oh, sh I have not what? seen a single one of these movies you've listed yet. Oh my god. Um, I, I don't even know how to react to this. Oh my god. <laughs> I brought my saddlebag. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, I just, he's a wonderful man. And every oh. behind the scenes photo, what started this conversation was that every behind the scenes photo of the oh, forecast yeah, yeah. is amazing. There's a photo of um, the, the director and Tom Hiddleston and um, fucking. Chris Hemsworth just like taking a nap together. It's amazing. There's photos of of um, the six degrees of Jeff Goldblum. Oh, tell yeah, that story. every okay. photo from behind the set here is amazing. So yes. supposedly there's an, uh, a joke on the set for the entire time. Yes, Go. and it was uh, six degrees of Jeff Goldblum, and everyone would um, try to stump someone, and basically in the middle of filming, Jeff Goldblum would <laughs> would just play stop in the middle of his lines and say. Jeff Goldblum, Jurassic Park, and he just list one that he that like somebody had been stumped on. Like he was like thinking while he was yeah, and he stop mid line and, and do it. Stop mid line and do it to the camera. Oh. Which, oh my god, I hope, I hope, I hope it is on the bloopers. Yes, yeah, I really do. Oh, I need that Blu-ray so, right now. Mm -hmm. I need it. Right. I need so that Blu-ray right now anyway. Yeah, right on so many levels. <sighs> just 
mask. Oh, God. Uh, but I'm yes, you. so now, just... we, now we're washed clean of all of our rage because we got to talk <laughs> about Jeff Goldblum. Goldblum. Also, so... I'm just, I'm thinking about Kate also, Blanchett again. Okay. Yeah, right. Mm. Um, and anyone who's met Jeff Goldblum in person has always been super charmed. He's yeah. never been nasty. Yeah. To he was delightful when we met him. He's, mm-hmm. he, he goes into the middle of the, like, during the show, he'll, like, during the set break, he'll just like walk into the middle of the floor and just be like, "Everybody, come take yeah, pictures!" And just, and just he'll pictures. take pictures with everybody. I think I just video it. I would just video he's, him. Being uh, nice he's to delightful. Oh, JB and Aiden. Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, well, guys, uh, thank you so much for joining another yes. uh, Nerd Rage Whiskey Wednesday. So uh, comment with anything we talked about that we missed. Um, also, let us know what you want to talk about next week. Always, anytime you just like message us or throw it on our wall, like what you want to rage about for next week's or Nerd Rage. Or if you have a whiskey suggestion. Oh, yes. We yeah. do a different whiskey every week. Mm-hmm. We certainly do. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website. Oh, yeah. So if you check out our lovely shirts. We have Nerd Rage. So we have Nerd Rage. We yeah. have Geek Chic Promotions. We have not only shirts, we have a whole lot of stuff. We And we also have uh, original artwork of... Uh, that's from really Leslie. funny and cute yes. by Leslie Nesbitt. Who was on our show the first week, if you've yes. been with us this whole time. Yes. <laughs> so please check out our website um, and check out our merch. We got a lot. We've got flasks. Sign up for our newsletter. We got, yes, and mm-hmm. we have a newsletter where we have a lot of tips coming out soon. So we have a lot of tips, Thanksgiving tips. Uh, we're gonna have Christmas tips coming up as well, and we'll just keep going throughout the year. So. Uh, Thank you so much, Marco. You rock too. Oh, thank you for tuning Yay. in. The first time, first welcome, time listener. <laughs> Yay. All right, guys. Thank you so much, and we'll catch you on next week's Whiskey Wednesday. Adios. Bye. Cheers. How do I stop it? it? There we go.